All new tonight, an Oahu business owner is reeling after a major ransomware attack took control of her accounts. We're talking her emails, her website, her banking, even her online medical records. Our Ben Gutierrez is here with tonight's top story. Ben. With so much of our lives and information online, scammers and hackers are becoming a lot more sophisticated in getting that information. And they've managed to break into a longtime business's online operation and its owner's personal information. I'm disabled, I'm under stress, this is like over the top. Longtime local jeweler Brenda Reichel didn't know she'd been hacked until she tried to get on one of the websites she uses for her business, Carrots and Carrots. And I thought it was kind of weird that I couldn't get into Podium. And then when I couldn't get into my at Poi Lady on Twitter, I knew something was wrong. And so I started looking at everything. Her life is now consumed with trying to get her online so affairs I, back in order. The hackers had gotten into everything, including her emails. They've changed everything that has to do with anything on my other alternate emails on Google. They even got into her and online medical records. My, my chart's disabled because they hacked it and they've got all my information, wow. everything. They know what medications I'm on. She also started getting oh fake text messages, supposedly from her bank. That's a scam that's becoming more common. We saw a huge increase of 39% of scams being done via text messaging. An IT manager says unsuspecting users like Reichel may have clicked on ransomware from a phishing email or text, which records their keystrokes, including their email address and passwords. All they have to do is reset your password and a reset link will go into your, e your email, but that person that has access to your email will be able to control that and, uh, you know, uh, change your password and lock you out. The battle against online scams will only get tougher as technology advances and fake emails and texts look more like the real thing. Remember how it used to be the misspellings, the incorrect grammar? Well, you have AI, you have the chat, the GPT, all of those resources that can help them write and make it look legitimate. Rochelle says she constantly changed her passwords and has no idea exactly when or how the ID theft and ransomware attack occurred. They still got in. And it's like the carpet's pulled right out from under you. Rochelle says none of her customers' data was breached in the attack, but her website sales are on hold for now. The FBI is also investigating. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.